Hi Drossier Cuties, Wendy here. It's finally time for me to reveal the newest Drossier Cute Girl inspired by you. But before I get started, I just wanted to stop and say thank you so much Cuties for all your enthusiasm for this giveaway. And yes, <laughs> I've been reading your comments and I definitely plan to do this again. So make sure you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on so you'll know when I um, announce this giveaway uh, again. But um, today I wanted to reveal the newest Draw So Cute Girl and I just want to also say thank you for being so patient throughout this whole process. It's been a little bit over a month and we I had to filter through about over 4,000 entries and we finally picked five, remember? And you helped me uh, vote for it on my community page and the winner <laughs> is Mackenzie and her last name starts with P. So hopefully Mackenzie, I hope you're watching this video and that you're super excited that this girl here was inspired by you and I really hope that you love how it turned out. And I wanted to thank you personally for entering and for um, making your entries so um, just easy for me to draw. Uh, you made it simple but detailed enough and I was just so grateful for that. <laughs> And so before uh, I start drawing, I wanted to read her entry. And so her name is Mackenzie. Her hair is just below shoulder length brown with a pink flower in her hair. Her skin is the color of the skin color pencil, but with a tan. Her outfit is marshmallow pink crop top with unicorn on it, blue denim skirt, light purple shoes. And what makes her uh, special is that she loves unicorns. She's sweet and she loves watching Draw So Cute on YouTube, of course. <laughs> and she was also very, very polite. And she asked me if um, I could draw her holding a uh, drawing of a narwhal, Draw So Cute narwhal. So it was just so perfect. It was unicorns and narwhals and pink crop tops <laughs> and flower in your hair, right? Perfect draw, so cute girl. So thank you so much, Mackenzie. And I really hope you love how this drawing of you turned out. So draw some cuties, get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper. And let's get started on drawing this. And I hope it inspires you to draw it as well. To draw this cute girl, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm gonna come right here and draw bottom of a U, straight on the sides, come to the other side about right here, and connect it with a curve. Okay, there. So nice round curve for her face. And we're gonna come back to where we started and I'm gonna draw a circle right on the edge. And same thing on the other side, so about right here. And I'm going to make them draw sick your eyes. So two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade it in the top. And lines at the bottom and shade in the top. Oops. And same thing on the other side, I mean. <laughs> okay, so then now let's come to the sides right here and just give her some lashes. You just pop out two curves on the sides. And let's see here, you just give uh, her sweet smile, of course. So right in the center, about right here. And bring it up and cap it off. And then I'm gonna come right here above her eye and just draw a soft curve for her brow. And same thing on the other side. There. 
Okay, so now we can finally work on her hair. So I'm having her hair part on the side. So just imagine the oval. So about right here, I'll start. Give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to draw a curve. It comes down and just kind of waves back down. And then on this side, it's just gonna curve down back to where you started. And then before I draw the rest of her hair, um, she wanted, she um, has a pink flower in her hair. So right on this corner right here, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space. Draw a circle and draw a pink, well, a flower <laughs> with five petals. And one more, just tuck it in right here. Just come in here, the center and give a little line. So now I have the flower in. So that's come up right here. Hair is gonna part right here. So it's gonna curve out and about right here, I'll give myself a point. This part's gonna go up and this part's gonna come down. You just kind of give yourself a curve right there. And I'm gonna bring this part up nice and round and just tuck it right in here and this part is going to come down and so then just imagine coming through so about right here it's gonna curve a little bit and come out okay so then for some details let's come right here and make a curve that comes right here and it's going to come out then right here you know, indication of a strand of hair and right here another curve and if you like you can add some uh, parting lines right here Okay, so then um, I'll finish the rest of her hair a little bit later. Let's draw her body first. And I'm gonna come right in the center and give her a neck. And let's bring it out for her shoulders. Come down. And come down. Then from there, let's see here. Let's, um, Imagine uh, her armpit area, so about right here and here. Give myself a point, and from there I'm going to draw a slight angle line down. So then I'm going to come back right here, give her a collar, and let's bring this down a little bit more for this crop top. About right there, I'll go ahead and connect it with a curve. I went a little bit high on the other side, so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. Okay, so then from there, I'm just gonna bring this down for a sleeve and tuck it in. So same thing over here. There, so I have my top, and I'll just come in here, light line to finish it off. So then from there, let's come in and I'm going to draw her waist area. So two slight angle lines and connect it with a curve. So now we're going to start to draw her jean skirt. So about right here, I'm just going to come out with angle line. Uh, bring it out a little bit more. Flare it out a tiny bit and go ahead and connect it with a curve. And for some details, I'm just going to give it a waistband area right here. Uh, a circle for a button maybe and some bands right here. And 
pocket. Center line. And the bottom line. There. Trying to make it look like a jean skirt as much as possible. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's draw her legs. So I'm going to come right in the center. And about right here and here. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this angle line down. about that much nice and long and I'm just going to taper this down it's going to get thinner as I come down same thing over here Okay, now I have long legs now. And then from there, I'm going to um, just cut it off with a curve for her shoe. And then come out with a curve that comes out. And connect it to the same thing over here. Curve. And connect and then for some details on the shoe curve for the sole top part and then two curves for the parting and two curves for laces so same thing over here Okay, so they're finally done with that. Now her hands. So this hand I'm just having to her side. So just imagine her shoulder coming down. But right here I'll start. And then come out a little bit more. So her hands are going to be about right here. So about this area I'm just going to come in with a little thumb. The angle out a little bit and then the rest of her fingers and then the other hand she's holding a picture of a narwhal that's what she wanted <laughs> so right here come down and then now we're going to angle it so this part just come out right here about right there imagine this your elbows angling So come in, about right there, and then we're going to draw a thumb. Come out, a thumb, and a line. So we're going to come right in between here, where the thumb is, this line, and draw a straight line for a rectangle. there so hopefully that looks like she's holding <laughs> this picture and um, before I draw the what's in this uh, picture right here let's finish her hair so she has shoulder length hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and curve it in about right there give it some zigzags and just finish it off so same thing here right there zigzag and just tuck it in okay so then um, for some details so in the picture right here uh, it's a narwhal and so right here I'm going to start simplify this narwhal it's a little horn and let's draw the body So if you want to draw a narwhal, definitely check out my narwhal video. <laughs> and the tail right here. It's so tiny. 
and two little eyes and a little smile and then the bottom part right here has a curve and a little flipper and then another one right here yay did it <laughs> and then you can add some bubbles if you like and of course we're going to add a heart right here nice big heart and looks empty right let's put um let's put draw so cute so d s c maybe <laughs> okay so that is uh, the drawing for the narwhal and then right here on her shirt uh, it's there's going to be a unicorn so I'm simplifying this so there's not too much detail I'm just going to go ahead and draw a horn so curve lines the ear right here And then when I color it, I'll just add some color in between and the eyes. So right here, I'm just going to give it some happy eyes and some lashes. And come over about right there and do the same thing. And hopefully that looks like a unicorn. without getting too complicated. And then we can add some details on her crop top here. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this Draw So Cute Girl turned out, inspired by Mackenzie. And thank you once again, Mackenzie, for inspiring me to draw this cute girl based on your entry. And I really hope you love how it turned out. The only thing I did notice was that on the skirt, in my attempt to make it look like a seam, I drew a straight line down the center. And now that I look at it, it looks like a pair, it could look like a pair of shorts, right? So um, maybe don't put the black straight line down the center and maybe you can just use like a, a blue instead of the black. But other than that, I hope I uh, made it fun and easy for you to draw along with me and that you love this new Draw So Cute Girl. So once again, um, thank you so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on so you'll know when I do this kind of giveaway again. And of course, so you won't miss another Draw So Cute video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.